work on renewable energy and energy efficiency and it's very exciting times for both in Virginia. The energy team within the Virginia Department of Mines, Minerals and Energy is growing to meet the increased demand from Virginia's solar. It's exploded exponentially. And wind energy industries. This is a very, very exciting time and we're really hoping that it's going to bring a whole new set of opportunities for the Commonwealth. 2020 legislation created the Division of Offshore Wind. The current focus? Workforce. We're looking at bringing a completely new supply chain to Virginia. But what's amazing about it is that the skill sets that are going to be required for offshore wind are almost identical to the skill sets that we've been doing for 300 years. Skill sets needed to construct turbines are similar to those needed to build ships. And the industry needs a good port. This gives the Commonwealth an advantage. Offshore wind turbines will be much larger than those you see here. In fact, it takes about 6,000 pieces to assemble one. The hope is those pieces will be made at facilities across Virginia, giving the entire state an economic boost. Falling prices and growing demand has led to a dramatic increase in the number of solar energy installations. There was record deployment last year and they're looking at that to continue into the future and I think it's time for Virginia to start moving in that direction. The energy team serves as the state solar experts. Currently they are working to ensure energy from renewables can be stored. Work is also underway with other state agencies to write the rules on permitting and regulating a growing industry. Expect more residential solar opportunities soon. The goal is to create the structure and fund for um, funding low to moderate income solar projects uh, for residents across Virginia. That is the task of the Clean Energy Advisory Board, staffed by the energy team. Department of Mines, Minerals, and Energy there's a huge solar presence in the economic development work of the agency as our energy, mineral mining, and mine land reclamation teams work to incorporate renewable energy as a post-mining land use. Try and increase our energy presence in southwest Virginia and use that to spread some of this activity and some of this work out there and take advantage of that untapped market potential. Meanwhile, solar projects are going up across the Commonwealth on state facilities, including those that house DMME. Those projects play into the work of the Virginia Energy Management Program, known as VIMP. We assist state agencies and localities with uh, energy savings projects to help them reduce their energy consumption and also reduce their energy billing. State agencies and localities can take part in an energy savings performance contract. This helps with upgrades to facilities for energy efficiency improvements, such as lighting or heating and cooling systems. Through the energy savings performance contracting, uh, since 2002, we've done over 250 projects that uh, saved the Commonwealth of Virginia over $900 million. A newly launched data tool capturing energy usage at state-owned facilities is helping the team see which facilities could use improvements. And it also helps them learn from those who are doing a good job. Initially a tool for us, but also the energy managers of the, the agencies to go in and see how their buildings are performing. Our energy team is also prepared to prevent blackouts through the Demand Response Program. They work with state agencies that can go off the grid during peak times by using generators. The energy team is also helping private businesses through a clean energy financing program called Commercial Property Assessed Clean Energy, or CPACE. Allows the, the locality to put a lien on the property to essentially guarantee the loan for the, for the uh, capital provider, and then the, the property owner takes out the loan and pays that back on their property tax bill. Vehicles are another focus. The energy team is key in helping to install proper infrastructure, such as alternative fueling stations or electric vehicle charging stations. And they even have a role in helping farmers be more energy efficient through energy audits and demonstrations. If we could show people what a good idea it is to do some of these things, then maybe they are more likely to build those into their operations. 2020 is the year for change at the Division of Energy, which will carry out very important work to help the Commonwealth meet unprecedented clean energy goals.